Apple's iMac hasn't really changed much in the past few years, with only a small spec update last year without any physical changes. But now, there are some rumors pointing to a new 2020 iMac coming sometime this year. So in this video, we're going to talk about those rumors as well as a couple of personal reasons why we think we should expect a new 2020 iMac. And we'll also discuss the top 6 features you should expect to see in this new iMac. Late last month, rumors of a new gaming focused MacBook or iMac popped up from the Chinese Economic Daily News site. The rumors claim that Apple has plans to launch an eSports computer this year with a price of up to $5,000 at this year's WWDC conference in June, which could be a large screen, all-in-one computer like the iMac. This might seem like a bit of a stretch, but Apple has recently been focusing more on the video gaming space by creating the Apple Arcade, so it seems like Apple has finally realized how large the gaming industry really is. Now, I personally don't think that Apple will market it as a gaming Mac, I think it'll just be a new 2020 iMac that's going to be packing hardware that will be excellent for gaming. This will allow them to further market their Apple Arcade and make even more power demanding games. Apple has also been working on their Project Catalyst, which basically makes it easier for iOS developers to port their apps over to the Mac. For example, the popular iOS racing game, Asphalt 9, has recently been ported to the Mac using Catalyst. This means that Apple could give us a new update on Project Catalyst this year at WWDC and announce that a bunch of third-party game developers are starting to move their games over to Mac. If this happens, a new iMac that has the hardware to support high-end games will actually make a lot of sense. But for those of you who don't really care about gaming, let's move on to the top 6 features we should expect in the 2020 iMac refresh. First of all, we believe that most of the new features are going to be coming to the larger 27 inch 5K iMac and the 4K version will more or less stay the same or only see a bit of the updates. So for these new features, we're going to focus on the 5K iMac. One thing we can definitely expect is Apple to offer the new AMD Navi based graphics options, which is the graphics that come packed into the 16 inch MacBook Pro. We should probably expect to see the 5500 as base, maybe the 5600 XT, and at the high end, a 5700 XT card. These new graphics perform extremely well for gaming and also well for other graphics heavy tasks like video editing. For number two, it's been a very long time since the physical display has been refreshed, so we think that this is finally the year to see it happen. This will come in the form of slimmed down bezels, possibly making the overall size of the iMac smaller to fit the same display size, or Apple bumping the display size up to 28 or 29 inches if they keep the same form factor. There's also the chance that they'll increase the refresh rate to make it more gamer friendly, but that doesn't seem as likely. For the third feature, we should definitely expect to see Intel's latest high-end 10th generation processors. Now some Windows laptops are already coming with these, but they're low-end chips. We believe the iMac will be one of the first computers to come with these new higher-end 10th gen chips. This will greatly increase efficiency and we should expect to see a very high performance 10 core option on the top end model. This would also be a great match for the high end 5700 XT that could be coming in this iMac. For feature number 4, we should expect to see better cooling on the iMac, possibly the same dual fan cooling system that's in the current 2017 iMac Pro. This will be very important if the 2020 iMac is going to be packing such powerful hardware, and especially important if this Mac will end up being a gaming focused computer. Hopefully Apple will figure out a way to keep the RAM accessible and user upgradable alongside the new cooling updates. For feature number 5, we expect Apple to finally get rid of the Fusion Drive as the standard storage drive, and offer only SSD storage like the rest of their Macs. This will most likely only happen on the 27 inch 5K iMac and not the 4K models, since they're more focused for the budget minded. These SSDs offer reliable and very fast performance to make sure it's always running at its full potential, especially with the upcoming powerful processor and graphics. And finally, we have feature number 6. One of the biggest drawbacks of the current iMac is that it doesn't come packed with a T2 chip. This means it gets much worse performance for HEVC video editing, and it's not as secure as the rest of Apple's Macs. The reason the current iMac doesn't have this chip is because it's meant to work with SSDs, and since Apple still offers Fusion drives on the 5K iMac, 
they couldn't really implement the chip. So if the 2025K iMac switches over to SSDs only, we should expect it to come with either a T2 chip or maybe even a brand new updated T3 chip that takes care of more tasks. This will also pave the road to Apple finally getting rid of Hackintoshes by requiring macOS to check for this T2 chip to allow it to run, but this won't happen for another few years. So there you have it, those are some of the features that we expect to see in the new 2020 iMac. Now there is a chance that Apple could skip this year altogether, but we'd really like to see it happen this year. If you have some features you'd like to see coming to the 2020 iMac, let us know by commenting down below. And if you're not already subscribed, click that circle above to do so right now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.